Hi guys, Joseph the World here, and today we're going to be talking about, yet again, another fucking nonce. But not just any nonce, today we're going to be talking about the Winchester paedophile, or predator, known as Robert Nutbeam, the disgusting man you see on your screen right now. Uh, before we continue this video guys, I just want to let you know, um, the nonce thing itself is split up into two parts, part one and part two. But they're both on separate pra separate platforms. So part two is on YouTube, but I couldn't find part one on YouTube. It's actually on Reddit. So I'll make sure to clarify, but yeah, you'll have to go to Reddit if you do want to go and watch part one or the half of the first non-sting, and then part two if you do want to, you know, finish it off. But that's your choice. So now that that part of the information is clarified about the non-sting, uh, in 2018, a UK paedophile hunting group confronted Robert Nutbeam of Manchester because he was grooming and tr planned to molest a 14-year-old boy. Luckily, it wasn't a 14-year-old boy. It was that predator hunting group. Now, I don't know the specific name of that predator hunting group because the YouTube channel that kind of uploaded it, I'm not sure if that's actually their channel or not. But During Robert's conversation with the fake 14-year-old boy, he lied about his personal information, so he lied about his name. His name's obviously Robert, but in the conversation, he went by the name of William. Uh, they later find out, as they confront him, that his name's obviously Robert. He lied about his age. He's obviously not however young he claimed to be. He's actually a 32-year-old uh, older man. He tried to lie at first, saying that his name was William, but he was there to get picked up by his girlfriend. Then he said his name was... Uh, he wasn't William. And he didn't state his name for a little while before he obviously stated it in part two of the Nunston. So obviously his story didn't add up, and then he went on to admit but admit for, for trying to be up with a 14-year-old boy, even though he tried to claim that he was there to look after the 14 year old boy because apparently he had nowhere to go but in the conversation the 14 year old boy never asked for that nor did it ever lead up to that he w he had every intention to have intercourse and he thought he groomed that child but what actually happened to robert nutbeam what actually happened to this disgusting pedophile well he was handed obviously he was arrested he was handed a 15 month custodial sentenced as well as a 10 year sexual harm prevention order and a 10 year 10 years on the sex offenders register but that's not where the story four ends. years after this non-sting uh robert was uh found breaking his sexual harm prevention order and he was admitted to it that he broke the requirement the obviously the this order prevents him from entering and remaining in a household where male under the age of 16 is present. But he avoided jail time. Now, he didn't do anything sexual towards the minor or anything like that, but he still broke his SHPO order, which is a sexual and prevention order. Sorry, I just shortened it. But he broke his SHPO order and the judge still didn't sentence him to jail. I'm not sure if he actually got sentenced to jail originally, but honestly, these sentences are way too light for these disgusting predators. Anyway, that's all of the information I've left to share on this guy. Uh, yeah, if anybody else has any information, let me know in the comments. I couldn't find any others, but you never know. Anyway, it's been Joseph the World. Make sure to like and subscribe, and yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. <laughs>